Since our post a couple of months ago telling you how to go about buying a vehicle and a caravan, trailer, fifth wheeler in the United States, I've had a lot of inquiries as to what does your money buy over in the United States? Well, in today's uh, video, I'd like to show you what my daughter bought with 13,000 US dollars. And you're seeing that right here, a Chevrolet Tahoe and a Montana fifth wheel. So when she arrived in the United States, we went about the process of uh, her getting a driver's license and uh, then uh, going about uh, finding appropriate vehicles and trailers that would suit her budget and negotiating the purchase of them. Then we had to go through the process of registration and uh, ownership papers and that's uh, the topic of that earlier video post. In today's post, just like to take you through the Montana fifth wheel and the Chevrolet Tahoe. And what you're looking at the moment is the external connections for the fifth wheel, uh, just before the 50 amp electricity surface. And there is the uh, sewerage and great water dump and the connection to the fresh water. Um, here we go uh, up to the door of the fifth wheel, uh, built in electric steps and then straight into the living area of the fifth wheel. Now this is a 2003 Montana. It's 32 foot long, um, has three slides, a front bedroom, a full bathroom and toilet, and a full living area with a fold down couch that uh, turns into a bed. So as we go up the steps to the bedroom, you'll see on uh, there's a full size uh, queen bed, a full wardrobe, uh, it's a little bit messy because I was staying there at the time, uh, a full service bathroom is integrated with the bedroom um, and uh, is uh, then uh, therefore easily accessible. So it's, uh, it's more of a couple's single person fifth wheel from that perspective, but uh, there is a privacy door that can be closed off. The bed is very, very comfortable and lifts up to a small storage area underneath. There's a closet that in this case is being used for a washing machine, vacuum cleaner, mop, all the rest of it, um, as well as a little bit of clothes hanging space. There's that privacy door. And next to the uh, closet is a toilet. So the toilet is, sits in a, a room by itself, which is a, a luxury in caravans, fifth wheelers, trailers these days, um, and is uh, very serviceable. Opposite the toilet is the shower, a fully enclosed shower, glass door, um, and a very comfortable shower to use. So heading back down the steps again from the uh, raised bedroom to the living area. On the left you'll see the kitchen which is very very well appointed and quite spacious. On the right the fold down couch, the dining area and just behind us which you'll see shortly is an entertainment area. At the end of the fifth wheel two very comfortable lounge chairs um, which can be swapped out but uh, in uh, the case of my daughter um, just decided not to. So as we swing around there's the uh, fridge that we just passed, a gas electric fridge microwave uh, and stove sit on a uh, slide out. Opposite that is another slide out with the couch, the dinette and there's the entertainment section. So looking at the stove, it's a gas stove, four burner with a cupboard on it, has an ducted uh, exhaust fan and a microwave oven. Here is the gas electric fridge which is uh, quite a good size and uh, matches the uh, timber of the surrounding cupboards. An overhead fan keeps, uh, keeps it cool, it's fully air conditioned with uh, the main air conditioner being in the living area and the ducting being up into the uh, bedroom. So my daughter also bought a Chevrolet Tahoe. This is a 1999 model, has a 5.7 litre V8 engine and the vehicle itself has travelled only 144,000 miles. Full leather interior, air conditioned, has all the creature comforts that you could possibly want um, as well as uh, the safety features of airbag, anti-lock braking um, and uh, most of the, the modern features. Air conditioning control to the rear of the vehicle and it is a large vehicle. Um, seats five, it does come in a seven seat uh, configuration um, but it's, uh, it's a very large vehicle and very spacious and very very comfortable to drive and it feels safe. Um, we travelled two and a half thousand miles while I was uh, with her over there just after we bought it and it was an absolute pleasure to drive. 
So you might ask, how much uh, did the, all this cost? Well, the Montana fifth wheel RV um, cost uh, $8,500 and uh, US dollars, and the Tahoe was $4,200 US dollars. On top of that was uh, registration and insurance. Watch our earlier video for the details of that. But that gives you an idea of what 14,000 US dollars or roughly 20,000 Australian dollars will buy in the United States. And you'll have to agree that is a lot of car and a lot of RV for that sort of money. You will notice that uh, the Tahoe will not tow the uh, Montana fifth wheel. My daughter has no intention of uh, towing the uh, fifth wheel around the United States. Um, but if that is your intention, then uh, certainly it won't cost uh, much different to uh, get a one ton truck that uh, can tow the fifth wheel. Maybe a little bit more for one in good condition that uh, hasn't done a lot of towing. Please remember, subscribe to Travelling Aussies, give us a th thumbs up um, and uh, send us an email if there's anything you'd like to know about uh, the information that we give on this channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.